Game of Thrones is finally big enough to engulf us. As the HBO blockbuster reaches its final season, it is definitively crossed over from the novelty mugs and Funko Pop, figurines of middle-class nerdery, and into the full mainstream. And with that comes a cultural cachet that threatens to ruin the spider's web thin magic of it. Tie-in promotional products, mid-song name drops, that font they use becoming a weird medieval-style joke. Here are some of the best and worst examples of our world crossing over with Wist Arrows. Medium, that Ed Sheeran cameo. Despite all the hype, Sheeran's season 7 cameo wasn't actually that bad. He had one line and a bit of song in a rare soldiers can be tender to seen towards the end of the first episode, as Arya met members of the Lannister army on the road. While it was a little bit distracting having one of our world's biggest pop stars in a scene for literally no reason at all, the main worry is that this will encourage more redeeded music icons to apply for a cameo ship. When all the flames have burned down to nothing and all the walkers have been conquered, if it turns out Jerry Horner sits on the Iron Throne then I'm blaming Sheeran. And I will riot. I end 2016's horny banger down and dirty, little mixes Jade sings, I don't ask the mirror, I know I'm the fairest I'm bringing the fire, so call me deaneries. This is bad, unquestionably, but in a very curious way it's good. It's hard to catalog culture when we're so fundamentally inside it, and it won't be until 12, 15 years in the future, when little mix reunite for a comeback single performed on Loose Women tired choreography with heavy baby bumps that will have the hindsight to actually see this era of history for what it was. It was 1,000 Marvel movies at once, that weird two-week period when we all had hoverboards, not really downloading apps anymore, and Game of Thrones references in album-only pop songs.